Hi, welcome back. Before the break, we were looking at applying the area rule. So let's go and look at how we will apply the area rule to some different triangles. Let's look at our first example. OK, in this triangle, ABC, they want us to find the area of this triangle. Now, remember when we're using area rule, we always be, need to be given three bits of information. At this moment, it looks like we only have two bits of information. We've only got one side, and we have one angle. But if we examine the diagram a bit more clear, uh, carefully, you'll notice they've given us that this side, side AB and side AC are equal, which means we know the length of AC. The length of AC is then seven units. So this is obviously an isosceles triangle, but we're not sure if we can use area rule yet, because what are the requirements for area rule? For area rule, we need to be given, remember, what do we need to be given? We need to be given side, angle, side. And remember, we need to be given the included angle. Now, we've got side, and we've got another side, but we do not have this angle. So, our first problem is, do we have side, angle, side? No, not yet. What do we need to find first in order to use side, angle, side? We need to find angle A. OK, now it's pretty simple, because as you can see, we've got an isosceles triangle. And if we know the two base angles, it's pretty simple to find the third angle. Let's do that. Right, so finding A. We know that because this is an isosceles triangle, if this angle is 50 degrees, then angle C will also be 50 degrees. OK, and now we just use the supplementary, uh, the three angles of a triangle being equal to 180 degrees to find the third angle. So A will just be 180 degrees minus the two angles. And so A has now a value of 80 degrees. OK. Now, sorry, 80 degrees. Now that we have our uh, side, angle, side, we can go in and apply the area rule. So let's do that quickly. OK, so remember again what we found out? We said this side was, um, sorry, let me just grab my pen. We said this side has a length of 7, and we calculated angle A to be 80 degrees. So we're going to be using this V pattern here. So we've got side, angle, side. OK, so the version of the area rule we're going to be using, it's going to be half B C sine of A. So half B C sine of A. Let's substitute the values in. So our value for B is 7. Our value for side C is 7. And our angle, side A, is 80 degrees. OK, what's left to do now is put this into the calculator. So we're going to say 0, 0,5 times 7 times 7 times sine of 80 degrees. And we're going to get an answer of 24,1277, which means our area is 24,13, because that's what we will round it off to two decimal places. OK, that was pretty simple, right? OK, so again, remember, when we're dealing with area rule, we want to find side, angle, side. And we're kind of looking for a V pattern. Let's try one more example. OK, here they're asking us to find the area of triangle ABC. Again, remember for area rule, what do we need? We need to have side, angle, side. Now, this problem is slightly more complicated because 
if you look carefully, we've got this side and we have this side, but we're missing the angle in between. If we wanted to use area rule, we need to find B. But the information we have, let's look at the information we have and see which rule we can apply. So if you look at the information that we have, we're given one full pair and one half pair, which means we could find A first. So step one would be to find A. Once we find A, we can then use um, the value of A and the fact that three uh, angles of a triangle should add up to 180 degrees to find B. Once we find B, we can then apply the area rule. So let's just look at what, we, what, our, what we're going to do again. Remember, we don't have angles, side, angle, side yet. We need to find A first, okay? So we first need to find A, and then once we found angle A, we then need to find angle B. Okay, which version of area rule will we use? Because the side is little c, and the side is little a, we obviously are gonna use this version of the sign rule, where we have a, c, and the included angle, b. So, let's first find a. Now remember, when we're finding a, we gotta be using the sign rule. So again, because we're finding a, we're gonna start off with sign a in our numerator. So sign a over little a, will equal to sine C because our full pair given is the pair with the C's. So sine C over C. Okay, I hope you're all comfortable with that. Let's see if we can work that out. So when we're finding sine A, remember we're using this half pair, sine A over 33 will equal to sine of 54 so we're using this as our full pair, 54 over 65. Okay, then we just got to manipulate some algebra here, multiply throughout by 33 to get rid of the denominator on the, on the left-hand side. So 33 times sine of 54 over 65, we've got to put this into our calculator. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so we're going to say shift, sine, and remember we've got a fraction here, 33 times sine 54, and our denominator, oh, let me just put up, a, right, our denominator is 65, and let's see what answer that gives us. Okay, so the calculator gives an answer of 24,2508. Remember, we need to round off, so we're going to end up with, uh, we're going to end up with 24,25 as our rounded answer. Okay, which means this angle is 24,25 degrees. Now, we've got to use these two angles, this one and this one, to calculate angle B. Okay, so let's go back to, let's go and calculate angle B now. Okay, so we got, to, we got to subtract the angle 54 that was given, and this angle was 24,25, and we've got to subtract that, and we're going to get our value for angle B. Okay, so we find out that angle B is 101, 7, 5 degrees. Okay, so we've found angle A, we found angle B, and now we have our V pattern. So we have a side, angle B in the middle, and we have another side. So now we're going to try and uh, substitute that into our area formula. Let's go back to the board. So Remember we said we're going to use this version of the formula? Area equals half A C sine B. So here's our little A. Here's our little C. And the angle we use is the angle we found now. So let's substitute that in. 
So we're going to say half, 33, 65 is the value of little c. And our angle is 101,75 degrees. Oops. OK, so um, we're going to put this into the calculator. OK, and exactly as we did before, we're going to say 0, 0,5 times 33 times 65 times 101, oh, sorry, times sine of 101.75. And we have an answer of 1050,026. And again, remember, we want to round off. So we're going to round off our answer. And we're going to end up with 1050,03 as our rounded answer. So that, that was a bit of a complicated example. Let's just re recap what we did. So we started off. We started off by first finding this angle using the sine rule, OK? And once we found that angle, then we used this V pattern, that side, that side, and that angle. We substituted into our area rule, and then we found the area. Because we remembered when we were using the area rule, we needed to be given side, angle, side, and specifically, remember, it had to be the included angle. So in other words, we needed to have some kind of a V pattern. OK, I hope you guys are finding this area rule pretty easy. It's not really that difficult a rule to use. Let's go and, do, let's go and um, recap what we've learned today. OK, we started off earlier with the ambiguous case. Can you remember what are the two conditions required for the sign rule in the ambiguous case? For the sign rule, remember, we needed to have one full pair and one half pair. So one full pair of angles and sides and one half pair. That was our full pair, OK? And that was our half pair. And the second condition for ambiguous rule was we needed to have the full pair needed to have the smaller of the two sides. So going back to our diagram, here's our full pair. And our full pair contained the smaller of the two sides. So remember again, when we have the ambiguous case, we have to work out the acute angle. And then we subtract that angle from 180 degrees, and then we have the obtuse angle, and we have two different measurements for the same angle. OK, let's recap what we learned about area rule. OK, an area rule for any triangle ABC was very simple. Area was equal to half AB sine C, half BC sine A. And the third version, can you remember? Half AC sine of B. OK, so that brings us to the end of our session. We've just covered the error rule and the ambiguous case of the sine rule. I hope you'll join us the next time when we do cosine rule. Till then, bye.